What up, y'all? Um, people ask me, like, why do you do this? Um, like, when I'm... <clears throat> I, I pretty aggressively troll people. Um, and uh, <clears throat> people always ask me, like, what the hell's your problem? And, you know, it always confuses me because it's like, well, I care about animals... Duh. Um, but I also care about people. And I care about people being misinformed and hurt and having their cu lives cut short uh, because of groupthink and because of cult behavior. Um, I've been basically attacked. I mean, not physically attacked, but this week, I've been attacked openly in the public. People uh, attacking my appearance, uh, attacking, uh, you know, like my family. Um, you know, telling me I'm a bad dad. Like, it's trying to get at me as hard, as much as possible simply because I stick up with for animals. And... The reason I do what I do on Facebook, you know, the meatards and ketards and the carnivore tards is to get your attention. And it does. It gets a lot of attention. Um, and like people will be like, you know, you're not going to change any minds, minds like that. And it's like, I, I know I'm not going to change anyone's mind immediately, uh, especially people who are completely closed minded. Um, but the people, um, you know, eventually these diets will lead to you having to make some sort of decisions medically, um, you know, sooner than you think. And, um, and, and if you'd been, you know, if you spent six months arguing with me, you know, I, I got a chance to, to give you a lot of really good information, um, you know, you didn't tell me anything or teach me anything in that time because I've 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 been a carnivore before. I did basically do keto for a long time. And I have been vegetarian, vegan, pescatarian. I've done everything. And so um you know I, I've been you know and I've 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 spent a lot of time um on health and fitness. And um and I, I watch people and, and the people who attack me personally and attack my my appearance and whatever, like these people, it's always it's always the most unhealthy people that I come across. Um and they and they like they go straight to ad hominem, straight to, you know, just trying to take low blows. Um oh look at the look at look at a uh, uh what what's it called? Uh you know, it's vegan deterioration. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> like, I've been vegan a long time. These people think there was like a YouTube video or, a, you know, resurgence in veganism a few years back. And so everyone just assumes that I've, uh, I've been vegan since like the 90s. Like, but anyway, the other, so for one, animals, for two, people. So the people that I've been able, that have been watching, you know, my arguments, I, I'm just delivering good information to you guys. And, and most of the stuff I come with, you know, people will come to me and ask these questions over and over again, and I will answer them. And it's, and, and I'm, I'm quite aware that this might be the first time this pe person's ever heard a legitimate answer to these questions. So people who are on the fence, who are actually like researching, um, you know, that's that's the other people that I do this for. Well, that's the other reason I do what I do. People like this guy. This guy, uh, family guy. I don't know. He seems to be about my age. I'm not sure. He's probably younger than me. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, the amount of group think, like the cult of Rogan uh, around the keto carnivore meat eating diet. Um, it's, it's so, it's so funny because it's like 
people always, oh, you're you're cult, you're in a cult, and it's like, talk about projecting. So anyway, this poor guy has been doing carnivore for less than a year, <laughs> and he first lost a little bit of weight and gained a little muscle, which is 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 very common to happen when you get on this diet because whenever you're taking out a necessary food group you're gonna starve yourself basically and you will lean out and if you're eating nothing but protein and and you know of course you're going to harden up a little if what you were doing before was eating the standard american diet and being sedentary you know like clearly any diet that makes you intake less, you're going to lose weight. But you're not healthy, healthily losing weight. You're starving yourself of a necessary nutrient for our body that our thyroid, our brain, every cell in our body runs off of carbs and glucose. And taking that away, you know, yeah, you'll lose some weight. Yeah, you might get a little bit of buff, but you won't be able to run more than a mile you're you're going to have anxiety problems. Uh, there's lots of reasons. But anyway, so this poor fucking guy is not even a year, year into the, the super carnivore diet that turns everyone into Superman. Everyone gets buff. Everyone gets super buff like all the guys on steroids, but they don't take steroids. All they do is eat carnivore. You know, like I got people that tell me carnivore diet saved their life. Like, like talk about delusional. So this guy finally goes into the doctor and gets his blood panel taken. And shockingly enough, he's gained weight. And his numbers are terrible. Absolutely terrible. He's supposed to, they, they want to put him on him like a statin. And he's just like, are you kidding? Like, everyone has told me this is the best thing in the world. And then the thing that gets me the most is the comments. Everyone is telling him he is doing it right and to keep doing what he's doing. And he's like almost in tears in this video. This morning and I looked at my labs and I'm just like. <sighs> and everyone is telling him to keep doing what he's doing. And his and his labs are terrible. His LDLs through the roof. They want to put him on pills to get his cholesterol down. Where do you get all that cholesterol from? Like, dude, doesn't look great. He said he lost a little bit of weight, but... I quit. Quit. I, went to I quit carnivore. Oh, does that mean that, like, you know, I could start making fun of everyone... All these carnivores and ketos that make fun of me because some people quit veganism. You know, like people who quit vegan, they're failures. Like, why would they, why would you want their advice? And and do you think they're going to give you good advice on something when they failed at it? Of course they're going to talk shit about it. Oh, veganism. Pff, ha, you know, like, if they fail, of course they're going to talk shit. Like, you got to see some of the stuff people say to me on a daily basis. But this fucking poor guy. To the doctor yesterday and got my labs drawn. And I went into the doctor and I stepped on that scale and I was four pounds heavier than I was three months ago. I'm like, oh, I'm six foot four. My weight fluctuates. I could be gaining muscle. I think last time I weighed in, I was wearing shorts. I'm not that worried. And this about is this is what, what you get with these guys. They're like, you know, they lean out a little bit. But not that much. And then they're like, oh, I'm getting muscle, gaining muscle, you know, and it's like they think they're gaining muscle, but they're not really losing anything. And you got this whole group think of all these people that are doing the same diet that are just blowing smoke up each other's asses, telling, oh, like, you know, and then and then at the top of it, you have these influencers on YouTube and Instagram who do steroids and say that they get those bodies naturally by being carnivore or keto 
So they're straight up lying. Like the primal guy and the the uh, the liver king, Mark Sisson, and like all these dudes are making millions off of lying to you. And you could see it on their face. Like these don't look like happy people. They don't look like healthy people. Um, so, yeah. About it because I have slimmed down quite a bit. Hopefully you can see it on here. From when I first started this diet, I am way healthier. I'm not... See? Like, the guy can't even use the right words for what he's talking about because everyone around him has puffed him up so much. He said, I'm much healthier. And this is a problem I have with a lot of people who come to my page and argue with me about my diet. They think that because they have some abs, uh, that they are healthy. And like, having muscles does not equate to being healthy. And this dude just said, I'm healthier now. But he's here to tell you he's quitting carnivore because his LDL cholesterol is through the roof. And he's going to have literally have to get bypass surgery. So obviously he's not healthy, but he says he's healthier because all these ketos and carnivores think they are healthy because they got a little bit of muscles from their from their diet that they went on where they really just starved themselves. I'm not supposed to slap my belly, but I do it anyway. It's hard to see, but yeah. I'm still feeling all right. I... Not very lean like all these carnivores and ketos say they're supposed to be. I haven't really lost weight, obviously, since I gained four pounds. <laughs> I'm not counting calories. I'm not doing anything. I'm just eating carnivore without... Dude looks tired, too. Like this whole video he looks like he's about to cry and if this is how he always looks like you know i don't really know if he's really healthy cheating so i have not been cheating at all you know that wasn't great and then i go in to get my blood pressure checked and i'm i actually so he said he's not cheating on on carnivore he only eats carnivore didn't sleep that well going into it i'm trying to take my health seriously so, and it's kind of stressing me out a little bit. So I didn't sleep that well. I was tossing and turning because I knew I was... Stressing out about stress or diets actually kills you, people. <laughs> it's crazy how much people stress out about their diets. going to have to go into the doctor and get blood pressure. And then, like, I was stressed out trying to think about relaxing. So I go in there and they take my blood pressure, which I've been monitoring. I've been monitoring my blood pressure and it's always 132, 136 range over like 82, 86. And every once in a while I get like a low reading and sometimes there's a random high reading. But if I look through all of them, that's about where it sits, which is in a high normal range. And then I go to the doctor, They it was like 145 over 95. I'm like, it's definitely white coat syndrome. And the lady's like, okay, let's just wait a minute and we'll check your other arm. She did the other arm, it was like 160. I'm like, yeah. Well, because I was stressed because it was higher in that arm and it's like, I want to take my blood pressure seriously. And then the, they're like, well, have you been taking your medication? I'm like, no, I, no, I didn't take my medication again. Like I told you guys that I didn't want to take medication. And I asked my doctor, I literally asked him, I said, is there. He's poor guy. So not that I recommend taking medication, but he told his doctor he didn't want to take medication because he was depending on his carnivore diet to save his life, basically, because that's basically what all these carnivore people say. I immediately lost all this weight and I became so energetic and happy and all this stuff. They all say the same thing, you know, to me screaming at me on my page. <laughs> a way to fix this problem that has not medication he said essentially no i mean i recorded the whole thing i don't need to play it but it was like he said essentially yeah there's no there's no real way for me to fix my blood pressure other than medication i don't and this right here is why i do what i do so dudes like this when they get to the doctor they know 
that a plant-based diet is another option to pills and the carnivore diet. Statins. You don't want that shit. You don't want to take pharmaceuticals to clear out your freaking vascular system. Like... So, this dude, poor guy, thinks he has to take these pills. Um, and he doesn't want to, and I don't fucking blame him. Uh, so, he's quitting carnivore. Because he thinks that's going to help. But it's not. The only thing that will save this man is a plant-based diet and getting more active. It's the only thing. He's quitting carnivore to go back to the standard American diet, which will kill him very quickly. This is why I'm so obnoxious on Facebook about veganism and the plant-based diet. This is one of the reasons. The other reason, plants. The other reason, I'm fiscally... Uh, consistent unlike libertarians and anarchists who are on the carnivore keto diet doubling down on the most uh, subsidized food that we have access to um, thinking that there's some uh, appeal to history appeal to, to, to tradition like oh our, our, our ancestors did it so we should do it um you know, we've been at war for a long time, too. Should we keep doing that? So anyway, this guy thinks he has no other options. So he's quitting carnivore, which isn't going to help him at all. Um, and, you know, all he's learned about veganism is that it, it, that it kills you, basically. Makes your teeth fall out and all this stuff that all these ketos and carnivores, all this BS false stereotypes that they that they push around. Because, you know, veganism is the antithesis of carnivore and keto. Like, it's the complete opposite. So, of course, they're going to trash it. If they were so convinced, if they were so convinced themselves that their diet was so good, they wouldn't have to trash anything else because they'd know for a fact, but they don't know. And they have the tinge of guilt. So, they, uh, they attack vegans like no other. Um... Yeah. I don't know if that's true. I don't think that's true, but I don't know if that's true. And it's in a high normal range. And if I stay on this diet, will that get better over time with my body just no, changing? Bro. The blood pressure worries me a little bit because I want to get that in check. That's part of the reason I'm giving up coffee. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Like, if you're healthy, you don't need coffee. You don't need caffeine if you're healthy and have all the energy you need. Yet carnivores and ketos drink coffee as if it's water. It's just, it's funny. There was, I watched this video, Mark Cison, the primal guy, the primal dude, and it was uh, what I eat in a day. And the dude pours himself like a half-gallon cup of coffee. As he's pouring it, says, oh, I don't really need this. I just really like the flavor. Like, the dude's in complete denial. But at least he's tr he is honest about one thing. Uh, Mark Sison was, was quoted saying that if you want cardio, his diet is not the right diet. So he basically admits that you can, you're not going to have any cardio whatsoever on his diet. Which, I, I don't know if, like... I wouldn't want to live without good cardio. Like, that's how, like, having good cardio and staying fit is how you live long, uh, live a long, healthy life. Not having cardio is how you end up in a, in a hospital at 60 and die in a hospital gurney at 70. You know, no thanks. Um, I'll, I'll rather, I'd rather not have the, the sedentary diet. That, but it's one thing I have not cut out of my diet. And then I did my lab works and I got my lab work this morning and I looked at my labs and I'm just like, <sighs> I quit. <laughs>
I quit this diet. I can't do this anymore. I can't. I so is this guy a pussy? <laughs> like, I, 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 it's funny because it's just go, go find this video and read the comments. You'll be appalled. There's every comment, pot, the dude's calling him a put like, not calling him a pussy, but saying that he's wrong and that he needs to stay on it. And everybody like, no, dude, you're doing great. Keep going. Like, absolute psychotic cult of personality group think. I can't do this anymore because I looked at my labs and I was so upset. I saw my hemoglobin. Dude looks awful. And on, just, just be honest, I've been working hard. And it's funny, when I first saw this video, I thought it was some carnivore dude trolling. I thought he was going to be all, oh, my, my numbers were great. Fuck you, vegans, you know, or something like that. But he never did because he looked, he's so tired and, and unhappy looking that I thought it was fake because it's so written all over his face. I have not been cheating. I've been eating mostly beef. Those last couple of weeks I've been eating more pork oh. chops because I found some oh. on sale and it just has been tasting good to me. So I'm not cheating, I'm not eating carbs Ooh. and I'm not eating sugars. And I do put cream in my coffee again, just a little bit every other day. So I'm not even doing that anyway, but last. Dude probably has scurvy and doesn't even realize it like the early onset scurvy time i'll put this on here so like I, I guarantee he's he has teeth problems and gum problems see um i started my diet at the beginning of this year and so on april 4 2022 this is a week in the carnivore where i was at 6.5 at that time so that was a week in the carnivore i believe and you can see it was like 6 6.6 6 6.2 6 then 6.5 and I'm like, I need to do something. And then I did four months since then, I did that check in and it was 5.7. I'm like, yes, you know, that was just such a victory. I reversed my type two diabetes and then I get this one, it's 5.9. I'm like, it's only two points more, but it's it feels like it was going in the other direction. And then on top of my weight being four pounds, like it just added on that. Either one of them, I don't think it's a big deal, but I'm not cheating. I'm not eating carbs. I'm not eating carbs. So my body is getting glucose. Maybe it's gluconeogenesis. I don't completely understand that. I've watched multiple things on it. But you know, you see these labs and they were going up, went down a little bit, going up. 5.9 is like, I got the message from the doctor's assistant essentially saying, well, that's increased risk of diabetes. I'm like, yes, I know. I know. I have increased risk. This would not happen if this guy was on a plant-based diet and eating fruit and vegetables, getting it sugars, natural sugars. You, diabetes is absent <laughs> if you don't eat a high-fat diet. Like, you have to have a, a high-fat diet to get diabetes. Diabetes does not come from sugar. Diabetes comes from clo lo clogging up your glycogen receptors. Um, not glycogen receptors. <laughs> your insulin receptors. Clogging them with fat so they can't naturally absorb glucose. This man's diabetes is not going anywhere because he's continuing to clog up his insulin receptors. It's got diabetes. So they did a basic uh, metabolic panel and I and I'll, everything was in range. Every single thing was in range. And I did see down here at the bottom where it said glucose. The last time it was 130, then 104. And I'm not sure if that's, is that the one now? Is it actually lower now, but my A1C was higher? I have no idea. Everything else was in range. And like my sodium has stayed the same and I eat so much salt, so much salt. I add salt to everything. I've been eating a lot of salt and that's all stay the same. But the one that really got me is my cholesterol, which I knew on the carnivore diet. It really got him? I, that I was going to be expecting my cholesterol to go up. Last two times I said, we need to put you on a statin. And I was like, uh, let me go on a diet. And so I came back on 4-4 four, four here. It says it was four. So they told him he needed to get on a statin. 
so he got on the carnivore diet. Good lord. 412, and that was one week into my carnivore diet. So it went from a 277 the last time to, to a 412 one week on the carnivore diet, which is crazy. But then, then I got checked again, it was a 442. And the doctor uh, said, uh, like for the total cholesterol there, he literally Dude's said that was the die. highest he has ever seen. I guess Dude's I'm going to fucking die. Day. Like you people don't understand what you're saying when you repeat all this bullshit about these diets you don't understand what you're doing it's literally killing people there and this one came this is an example back at a 498 for total vegans aren't getting 498 cholesterol <laughs> vegans are not obese Vegans are not diabetic. I mean, there are some, but very, that's like born diabetic. You don't get diabetes from veganism. Total cholesterol. Obviously, the H means for high. My HDL, Obviously. you can see 34, 32, 41, 46, 45. So they actually got a little bit higher, these last two ones, after being on the carnivore diet for a while. The LDL, bad cholesterol, which I've actually heard a couple of things recently that your body produces 75 to 85. I've heard two numbers, 75 to 85 percent of all your cholesterol. It was 217, 18. Heard from who? Some keto influencer or Joe Rogan? 89, carnivore diet, 329. That was only weekend again. Then 357, now 427. <laughs> Dude, he's laughing? Like, that's not funny. So my cholesterol is through the roof. You look yes. at the triglycerides, which I've heard is... Some His Widowmaker is clogging as we speak from the carnivore diet. Something you don't want to really mess with. And you can look, it went from a 208 one week in, four months in, 197, and then seven and a half months in, 131. So look at that. The H on the triglyceride, triglycerides went away. I am happy with that. And the VLDL, 62, 56, 42, 39, 26. And I'm actually not sure what the VLDL is. I, I need to look into that. Or maybe someone could tell me. So I'm looking at these numbers and I'm like, my cholesterol is through the roof. And so obviously they want to put me on a stand. They want to put me on medication. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? And I'm looking up, you know, information this morning. What if I'm a go vegan hyper responder to a low carb, no carb diet? If exactly, if I'm a hyper responder, what do I do now? So I go go vegan. Old hyper responder this morning, and it popped up something from Diet Doctor, and I found this. It's like three takeaways. No, here's why this guy's in this position so i went to google and typed it in and the first thing i got to was if you are a hyper responder hyper responders have a greater than 50 percent inc increase in the ldl up to an abnormal level but knowing that if this is risky is more challenging there's that is elevated ldl always harmful we need more data to be sure but enough evidence exists to raise concerns okay change is possible there are a number of changes you can make that may lower your ldl while staying on some version of low carb diet so i was going through this you know what is a hyper responder they got different hypotheses of why LDL goes up, different energy delivery models, increased substrate model, increased cholesterol, etc. fat intake, lower insulin levels, genetic predisposition. If this guy immediately stopped eating rotten animals and started eating vegetables and fruits and rice and carbs and lowered his fat, to maybe, you know, 10 grams, 20 grams a day, all these numbers would plummet. Absolutely plummet. Within weeks, 
his numbers would plummet. Instead of going on a statin, or instead of staying on the carnivore diet, or switching back to the standard American diet. Position. Is elevated LD harmful for low carb hyper responders? Here at the end, it said, How can a hyper responder lower LDL on a low carb diet? Mm -hmm. It says, Increase your carb intake. Either oh, cycling more carbs. Oh, no way! Increase your carb intake. Increase your fiber intake. Wow! That's vegetables. That's sugar. That's grains. That's breads. That's cereal. That's carbs carbs your body needs carbs people if you're gonna get rid of something get rid of the fat keep the protein i mean get rid of fat and protein if you want to lose weight get rid of lower your fat and protein raise your carbs get active boom done <laughs> it's that simple you can eat as much as you want you don't have to stress out about your diet it's crazy Carbs or continuously eating more carbs will frequently lower LDL. Evaluating your carb target and why you set it at the limit. This dude's baffled by this because he's got nothing but groupthink false facts about eating meat and dairy and carnivore diet and keto. It is a good he's completely baffled. He's, read he's reading this. He has never read this before. This is shit I've known since the 80s, since I was a teenager. What is wrong with all you people? <laughs> to start, as it is maybe time to reevaluate your goals. Note that increasing carbs may not be an appropriate option if you're eating a strict low carb diet to treat mental conditions such as diabetes or epilepsy. What is worse, high cholesterol or diabetes? Obviously, it's the diabetes. The diabetes is more of a risk factor. Diabetes it comes from a high fat diet not carbs this is where this this man is hor horrendously wrong horrifically wrong so much that he almost died he is in medical emergency <laughs> because he thinks carbs gave him diabetes when fat gave him diabetes factor more proven of a risk factor than having a high ldl and I know there's a lot of stuff on here, and I'm hoping that people that watch this, that have been following my journey, that know a lot more than me, can recommend videos. There's all this information out here. I see stuff from this side. I see stuff from this side. Uh, there's different Plant information. Plant-based, bro. And Plant-based. 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 There's a lot of it, and it's overwhelming. And can you imagine? Oh, give this guy three months. High-carb, plant-based diet. This dude would look so much better and feel so much better. And his blood work would be so much better without a doubt. Mark my words. And it's one thing to go out and seek information, but it's another thing when it's your health that's on the line. It yeah. is my health that I'm trying Stop to Stop taking advice from YouTubers. Just because Joe Rogan's cool and buff does not mean he knows how to be healthy. Joe Rogan is not healthy. He does steroids. He smokes cigarettes. He eats like shit. He drinks tons of alcohol. And they take hold of and get in charge of it is my health and life that I'm trying to get better. And I'm, I'm doing the best I can at not eating carbs. And then all of a sudden. I think I'm a hyper responder. My cholesterol goes through the roof to the point my doctor said he's never seen it higher. And he looks at me and he's like, it's obvious that I've lost a bunch of weight and that I've got much strong. All these keto people and carnivore diet say all these doctors are supporting them, but I hear stories like this all the time. Stronger, I'm in better shape. And I see stories and like this guy does, isn't in the greatest shape, but I've seen stories of dudes that are shredded who are like gym rats who are like, oh, my God, I might have to get bypass surgery. They might have to take veins out of my legs and put them in my arms like that's crazy. Shape, but then my cholesterol over a fad diet, a fad diet that's been pushed by the powers that be like you think big. Big meat company isn't owned by the Rothschilds. 
the same people that own the hospitals. Like, they want you sick, people. So to jump on these dangerous, insanely wasteful, insanely incompassionate diets, it's hilarious. Is so high. This says I can increase my carb intake, increase my fiber intake, or decrease your saturated fat. And I did think at the end of this article here, it said this. It was interested. It said interesting. It said when to consider medication. He said LDL is not a marker to casually dismiss. There may be reasons to be concerned, and in some cases, add medication to reduce your risks. You and your clinician may want to consider the following questions when deciding whether to add an LDL lowering medication. I, I don't feel like my clinician actually wants to talk to me about these things. It's medication or nothing. Do you want yep. to follow the no. cardiology guidelines because that gives you peace of mind? No. Do you have other significant cardiac risk factors such as high blood pressure? I'm working on it. Diabetes. I reversed it still. Hyperinsulinemia. You reverse it. You're falling right maybe, back or into Or elevated it. lipoprotein A. I'm not sure what that is. A strong like family demon. history of premature heart disease. No, not really. Not only in people that have like really abused alcohol. Do you have an elevated coronary calcium score or other evidence of significant vascular? Guaranteed those people who were abusing alcohol were eating like shit too plaque and so that's one of the things that came up i thought why don't doctors give you this scan the check for vascular plaque why do they just automatically say hey we're gonna put you on a statin right off the bat and not even check if you have clogged arteries or blockages or anything is the medication because they look at your blood work, bro. Medication just such a mild thing and not a big deal. It's just easy. Throw medication out there and that's that. If I don't have clogged arteries, then what's the big deal? <laughs> I, just, I just don't know that. I, I assume people have answers to those also. This last one also said, do you feel that lowering LDL is important but believe you're experiencing other benefits from a low carb lifestyle so much so that you're not interested in changing your diet? So they're saying this question right there makes should make me think, is it time for me to consider medication? My risk factors <laughs> for heart disease have gone way up on a low carb diet because I'm a hyper responder. So maybe I should take medications no, to keep that in dude. check so i could stay low carb plant-based bro ah! low carbs low energy you're saying low low energy i'm gonna take i just want to stay low energy i want to stay low i want to stay starving my body i want to keep my eyes looking look at this dude's eyes look at this guy he wants carbs. His body is starving for carbs. Starving for carbs. Watch me in Ali's video. There's some... Oh, what's it? Some douchey actor guy who was big on the low-carb thing. And then he goes to Italy and they, like, cook him food and they... Sh explain to him how good carbs are for your body and necessary they are for your body and dude sits down to eat like pasta with his family and homie's tearing up like straight up tearing up because his body wants carbs so bad it's all bullshit fat high fat hope high protein diet is is a corporate marketing scam to sell byproduct and keep this horrible tradition going of um, you know murdering billions of animals a year and feeding them to humans that aren't supposed to be eating those animals therefore causing problems like this man has and then the answer to it is is joe rogan telling everyone to eat more meat and more fat and then everyone believing it and it, it's just it's absolutely insane it's like it's like everything we knew about health has just all of a sudden changed because Joe Rogan said so. And like, look at Joe Rogan. The dude looks like shit. Like everyone says he looks great, but it's just like everyone says he looks great because everyone says he looks great because everyone says he looks great. But the dude looks awful. Like the guy looks terrible. 
yeah, 20 years ago, he looked great, but he doesn't anymore. The dude abuses food, drugs, and alcohol on the major. Um, so I don't know if he's the best guy you should be getting advice for. And that's what all this carnivore, carnivore diet, keto diet, it's all BS YouTubers and Instagram influencers that are on steroids lying to everyone. Anyway, so that's why I do what I do on Facebook is because of dudes like this, because I know if he would, he was following me on Facebook, he would know a little bit more right now than he does. Because he has no clue that the answer is so simple, so simple to him to save his life. Just go plant based. It's because that I have simple. slimmed down quite a bit. Hopefully, you can see it on here. Bro. Beef. Go it's once for every meal. Uh, <laughs> peace.